hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is soma um, and to all of you that keep coming back hello and welcome back quick reminder if you've never subscribed just to remind you to click that red button there that says subscribe and after that click the bell sign and that way you get a notification whenever i upload a new video so in today's video i wanted to actually talk about nigerian women abroad and nigerian women in nigeria who work who are the what's the word who work which of them work hard the most which are the most hard working which of them how do I say? Yeah, which of them are the most hardworking? So when I talk about work hard, I personally feel like, I personally feel like Nigerian women abroad really do work hard, like really hard. Um, not because I'm abroad, but because, you know, I've lived in Nigeria and I lived abroad and I can tell the difference. You know, when I think about my aunties, my mother, you know, my life when I was in Nigeria, uh, my life abroad. Um, I think the first thing first has to be about like some of the things that come to my mind when I'm thinking about things like this is this abroad you are your own house help basically you haven't you can't employ house help in Nigeria um, Nigerian women Nigeria Nigerian women and Nigeria Nigerian women Nigeria can employ house help and pay them like ten dollars a week or I don't even know how much they pay them these days but not next to nothing when I say next to nothing you know Basically, you don't pay them much, but in most part of the Western world or whatever, I don't know what else to call it, you know, most part of the world, if you want a nanny or you want to employ a minder or whatever you want to employ, a big part of your income has to go towards that. And another thing again is, when you say nanny, nannies, typically you may, you know, have a nanny for a few hours a day or whatever. If you then decide to have a live-in nanny, that will cost you a fortune. Because they see another problem, you know, that thing about that problem about Nigeria is, you know, there's no minimum wage. When I say that, I mean, there's no enforcement of minimum wage. The government can say the minimum wage is this or that. Who enforces it? Nobody enforces it. Anybody can bring one girl in the village and be paying her nothing. And she's living in the house 24 seven. And, and so it's cheap, it's affordable. It's so easy to get a nanny or full-time, whatever, help at home. In Europe, many people can't, many Nigerians abroad cannot afford it. Not even Nigerians. Most people abroad cannot afford it. And the women, women abroad end up doing everything themselves. You know, they do their own cleaning, their own cooking, their own gardening, their own. That actually came to my mind because I was doing gardening today and that was why it came to my mind. For those of you that do not know, I actually have a Pigeon English. For those of you that do not know, I actually have another channel, which is my Pigeon English channel, where I do a bit like, it's not really vlogging, but I do more. I do more on that channel that I do here I do a, a bit more of myself I think I put more about my life into that channel I think so yeah um, it's kind of like it's not a vlog but it's not really vlogging because I don't show my life really but I show a bit of other things that I do and you know I was I was filming actually today for that channel and I thought to myself of how much we do like I can't just go get a gardener you know most things I'll do myself if it's something that I can't do I may get a gardener but most things I have to do it myself while in Nigeria you can get a gardener you get a cleaner you get a driver you get everything here you're your own you're your own driver your own gardener your own cleaner your own you know, a nanny, you own everything. Nigeria, you can even get, uh, what's it called, private tutor, you know, or I, I have used private tutors on my children, and I can tell you, they're not cheap, they're expensive. They're very expensive. You can be paying up to like 50 euros an hour for a private tutor. That's a lot of money. Or you do their homework with them, you do everything. So, but, and, I, and it, all these things make me realize how much we abroad work, we work so much harder and we still have to go to jobs. We still have to go to our daily jobs and then still come home and still do the job at home. While when we, when we lived back home, we could have, when I lived back home, I had a cleaner. I had somebody that came and did all these things. I never had anybody to look after my my baby because then i had one child because i don't know i don't really like other people looking after my babies to be honest which is not something i'm comfortable with i prefer to look after my children myself as long as it's possible i do my best to be the one to look after my children myself but if i'm really really stuck i may get somebody else but it's something i really do not like somebody else to do for me we do so much from the minute you wake up to the time you go to bed at night you are on the go there is go 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 while our counterparts, our fellow women in Nigeria, which I used to be one too, you know, they would have cleaners, they would have uh, drivers, house helps, gardeners, 
some of them have nannies that are 24 7 and they can actually wake up the nanny in the middle of the night there are even some that their babies sleep in the same room with the nanny so these women don't even have to wake up to do baby stuff at night they can sleep flat out at night but in abroad <laughs> You, you will have to spend the night with your baby. You have to wake up and change your baby at night. You have to feed your baby at night. You have to do everything at night. If you're bottle feeding, you have to go downstairs and make your bottle yourself at night. You do so much. You know, another thing that came to my mind is how in Nigeria, when you have a baby in some cultures, after a baby is born, you're not allowed to go out for the first 42 days or whatever abroad. <laughs> Waiting for 42 days, you can't step outside how how you, you can't do that abroad you can't do that abroad you will step outside you will step outside some women what some people do is that before they, they know that they are due they kind of stock up a bit before they go into labor they kind of stock up before they are due date so that when they are gone they'll be food at home there'll be other things and when they have the baby so they won't have to go maybe shopping for the first week max maximum one week the following week they are on the street already doing their own shopping they have no choice they have no choice you get you you just get used to it you just do everything yourself you come back home and life is back to normal few days later you're going to do your shopping another thing again is you no know, back home when you have your baby you have one auntie bathing the baby all this one giving you back a massage and body massage and cooking your food and giving you hot food and some people helping you to press your belly many people abroad many nigeria women abroad don't have any of that as soon as they come back, they are already getting up to do this, to do that, bath the baby, feed the baby, cook for the younger children, and do all these things. They, w we abroad work really hard. We really do work very, very hard. Even even just us, even all the white people or other people in these countries. This is where they live. You have your baby, you continue your life. You have continue your life like normal. It's not. It's very different from Nigerian culture as well. But women in Nigeria abroad work so hard, but at the same time, a lot of Nigeria, a lot of our people back home have this bad image of Nigerian women abroad. I don't know where that comes from. They have this bad image of Nigerian women abroad. They look at us as the, how do you say it? There are a lot of people that think that Nigeria, they think that women abroad are sophisticated, they can't do any of the hard job, they are lazy, they're, it's a lie. I, where, I don't even know where that comes from. You can't even afford to be lazy. You just can't. You still have to clean your house and keep your house clean. And again, you have visitors after you have baby. Hmm. You will still serve your visitors. You will. You will still serve your visitors, you still attend to them, and you just have the baby. But I've been thinking about it. Back home, there's this image of Nigerian women abroad as them. Oh, they are jabotas, they can't do this, they can't lift the finger. That's not true. Nigerian women abroad work so hard. So women back home, if their husband has a nice job, they just stay at home. When I say just, I don't mean that staying at home is easy because staying at home is not easy. I can tell you that. What I mean is that they, they only do the staying at home. And even though to a lot of women, you know, I know some people are like, oh, even the women in the villages, even when the women in the villages, when they have their babies, there's always somebody that come and assist them after they had the babies. There's somebody, they always have a man, somehow there must be house girl or something. Even the poor women in villages, I'm telling you, because how much is house girl? Sometimes they don't even have to pay his family member, send their daughter, go and stay with her for six months, stay with her. It's very, you know, even the poorest of the poor in Nigeria can afford to have house help. They can, you know, but abroad. Hmm. Although that's another topic for another day because let's be honest, if you think about house girls in Nigeria, in a lot of cases, house help in Nigeria is like a, what's it called, modern day slavery because somebody that is a house help should be so well paid because the job is not easy. The work that I'm doing, I can do it because it's my house, my family, but if I had to do it for somebody to pay me, <laughs> I would not even do it. In most countries in the world, a full-time nanny that a lot of people in Nigeria have and they're paying them how much peanut a month if you have that kind of mind or house help in, in in developed part of the world if i can use the word developed part of the world where you know there's law and all that there is human right and everything you'll be paying at least like thirty-five thousand a year that is a fat salary so how much are you making that you're going to pay thirty-five thousand? that's why it's only celebrities and maybe high politicians and very rich people that can actually afford full-time nannies only them yeah anybody in nigeria can afford it because you can pay them any amount you like nothing and at the end of the day this house help don't make enough money to actually have a life 
they don't you know I, I don't want to go that but that's another story altogether you know they don't make enough money they are still rich they can be minder for a year or two and they come out with nothing i know a girl that was a house help for two years because she needed money to buy a sewing machine think about that sewing machine and she was a maid for two years because she wanted to buy a sewing machine she had learned how to sew and uh, finish the sewing school or whatever it was called but she needed money to buy a sewing machine and she was a maid for two years just to make money to buy a sewing machine that's the state of things i don't want this video to turn to i think that that's another topic for another day but i wanted to focus on the fact that we abroad work we work so hard it is so hard and i think you know it's a big problem because that's why a lot of women abroad can be easily frustrated and stressed out mad time stressed out you know one of my friends as a social worker was telling me the other day about the mental health issues that a lot of Nigerian women are going through abroad is because you know the amount of stress people go through the amount of stress is so much so much and then they still have to go to work like i was before i actually got in uh, losing my i'm actually losing my train of thought i want to talk about how so women that are stay-at-home moms in nigeria yet they have house helps they have house help they have drivers they have cleaners they have uh, gardeners they have you know everything and they're still at home moms but here nigerian women are dropping children at a, at a crash and then they go to work and then they wake up early in the morning get the children ready get drop the children at a crash and then go to work on their way back from the crash from the work they collect the children from crash come home and still do housework and still do housework it is so tough luckily thank god some men are very sensible and they help with the housework and the family are working together and it's working out for them beautifully but there are some men that believe that you know the nigerian mentality you know a man should not do the housework is a woman's job and that is why a lot of marriages are having a lot of problems because this woman feels like both of them go to work and they come back and the man feels like i'm a nigerian man in nigerian culture i shouldn't be doing housework i shouldn't be washing plates and then there's katakata i made another video about it i'll try and link it so you guys can check it out you know i talked about it i talked about it. some men will still arguing in the comments section that is still a woman's job it doesn't matter if both of them work and everything when they come home it's still the woman's it's still the woman's responsibility responsibility to do all the housework that's what some people believe luckily thank god some men know that it, that's not um, that's not right thank god some men know that that's not right and they believe that it's teamwork they have to help each other you know but i've been thinking about it really so I, i've been thinking about it about how much harder you know we abroad work i believe that we Nigerian women abroad, we work much, much harder than Nigerian women uh, in Nigeria. That's my, well, that's what I think. That's what I have come to realize because I have lived both lives. When I lived in Nigeria, I had a, a nanny or whatever, and I paid that much. You know, I paid how much salary. It wasn't even that amount of money. That was there, like this. I'm talking about, talking about 19, many, this is many years ago. You know, I had not the mind that I had. Um, um not the house help even i had the uh, a cleaner she comes and she does all my cleaning and go she comes and she will do all my cleaning and that's it really she was just coming to do my cleaning she wasn't cooking nothing she just came did all my cleaning and she left she did my cleaning and my laundry yeah she was coming to do all my cleaning and my laundry so you should come every day do my sweeping cleaning and laundry and go that was her job and, and we didn't pay much i did the rest myself but here you have to do everything yourself so i've been thinking about it and i think we abroad work harder not because i'm living abroad you know i've tried both so i can speak for living in nigeria and i can speak for living abroad and i believe that nigerian women abroad work so much harder than nigerian women in nigeria so i don't know what's your opinion feel free to leave your own opinion am i correct am i correct am i wrong uh, whatever your opinion is feel free to leave it in the comment section below um, and with that i'm just gonna say thank you for watching until the next time guys bye bye bye